So this morning the guys arrived about 7 a.m. for the all important brew in the morning. Um, and then we start on the pitch, as you can see behind us in a minute, uh, at half seven. So overnight with a bit of moisture on the leaf, so we'll always brush first thing in the morning. So three of us will go out and do that. And then someone else will be setting the mowers up, which is quite important. And when we're setting the mowers up, it's ensuring that the cut's really clean. And um, that's really important to the visuals that you get and for the playability of the pitch. So um, we start with that and then the guys will cut through and we'll cut twice typically on a match day. Um, and all the attention to detail starts dialing in really on a match day morning. So we'll be cleaning goalposts, trimming goalpost sockets, um, cleaning corner flags, making sure that there's no weeds in the track or grass in the track and obviously marking out and all those essential bits that, that make the game happen. And the aim is to be off the pitch around about 10.30 um, to ensure that Hawkeye can undertake their checks. Okay, so here at the Etihad, we're constantly monitoring the pitch. So there is just some in-pitch sensors that we have. And we also have these pods that we place. There's eight of these that sit across the pitch. Um, and these are constantly monitoring the moisture in the ground, which is what these probes are for. Humidity in the stadium, because the way that the weather works inside the stadium is very different to what you see outside. Because we're in the bowl and because we're actually six and a half meters lower than the ground, uh, the conditions are really, really different. Um, so it's really important we monitor. And we monitor these every 60 seconds. So we've got apps on our phone that tell us the moisture levels and what we'll do from Thursday typically we'll start working the moisture levels up in the pitch so when you see the sprinklers going around on a match day we're doing that all the way through the week to build that moisture up because it's really important for how the players feel the pitch underneath their feet but also how the pitch holds together and that moisture is really essential and with these we can constantly keep an eye on that constantly top it up let it dry whichever we need to do and we're aiming for around about 25 to 30 percent moisture in the pitch on match day. A, it's a thing that if I did, if we didn't do this, I'd know and I'd be, I probably wouldn't sleep, John. <laughs> but yeah, it's uh, and they're specifically curved scissors because so they fit the socket. So they do a much better job. They use them in golf all the time for around golf holes. So you see these sort of shots when they do like the masters and stuff. Okay, so we're just about to start marking out now for the match. To ensure I keep the same pace, I use an app and it's a metronome. So a lot of people that know music will know what a metronome is used for. So you'll see here as my, uh, it's tick, tick, ticking away. And that means that every time it ticks, my foot's landing and that makes sure I put the right amount of paint out on the pitch. Match day, I test the pitch to make sure it's in tip top condition. Uh, both for the grounds team and also to benefit the players. A match day test will take me anywhere from half an hour up to an hour. Um, throughout the week as well, we carry out free tests on a Monday, Wednesday, Friday. So it's not just on match day we do this. We're always trying to be proactive and producing the best pitches possible. So that drop and twist there has just taken us nine metrics in total. We'll go round the whole pitch now 18 times. Uh, six down, one wing, six down the middle, one in each goal map and six down the last wing, which will give us our grand overview of the pitch.
13 minutes uh, from when they're off the pitch to coming back on, so when the teams come out, as soon as we see, is it the music you said, Gareth? Yeah, you just put music on, don't they're coming back we'll out, that's usually like the point. Because we don't want to be getting fined, it's 40 grand, isn't it? <laughs> so, <laughs> Steve, you're on the corner flags, we've got the corner, Zockers to put back we, in. How many have we got? We've got three, so. <laughs> <laughs> You've got to find the last one, so. Yeah. <laughs> So we're really specific on the height of cut here. Uh, Pep likes the pitches short, so we cut it 23 millimetres. Um, that ensures that the ball moves really, really quickly for him. So you'll also see the water pre-match. That also allows the ball to move across the surface really well.
Brentford's finished and as you see behind me now we're starting to prepare for Inter Milan so pretty much after every game we start preparing for the next one so the guys behind are cleaning up we're brushing so the bits and bobs you'll have seen that we're tapping back are now being cleaned up with the mowers behind us we'll put out a series of lights in the stadium to recover areas a little bit quicker like goal mouths and warm-ups and we also have the fans in the ground as well that, that, that circulate the air um, and it really is now about the recovery process for Milan You'll also see a spray in the pitch and that's a little bit around getting some nutrition back in the plant. You can imagine after all the stress it's been under on a match day like all of us, uh, we're going to give it a little bit of nutrition just to try and pick it up and recover it for Milan on Wednesday. <laughs>